Hello and welcome to Everlance. Today we'll cover mileage and expense tracking on the iOS app. Let's jump right in. We'll go to the account menu to set up our settings and features. Tap on the green button in the upper left of your app to access this menu. First, hop into the profile and settings section, add your name, and verify that your email address is correct. If we need to update our email, we'll be able to do so here before saving. This is where we can also adjust our communication preferences and change our passwords. Back in the account menu, we'll take a moment to verify that only TeamSat purposes are listed in the Purposes tab. Everlance for Teams includes a level of privacy where trips and expenses must be classified under a TeamSat purpose for them to be visible to the company. Admins and managers cannot access individual trips and expenses that are unclassified, personal, or classified under an other category. If any other purposes are selected, go ahead and uncheck them before saving. If we're tracking mileage, we'll want to check out the trip section. The tracker settings is where we can control location tracking. The auto detection toggle turns on and off the app's ability to automatically track trips. We recommend keeping auto detection on as this is a great way to catch all of your mileage, but we can also turn it off. Auto Classify tells the app to classify all tracked trips under one purpose. It can be especially useful when used with the auto detection toggle, but we do recommend using this with care as personal trips could accidentally be classified under a work purpose, making them visible to your company. The Tracker Checklist is where we could check that our mobile device is ready for tracking. All green means we're good to go. If you see a red fix button, we could tap it to resolve the issue. Going forward, we'll want to open the app at least once a week to keep it running in the background and accurately tracking mileage. The Favorite Places feature allows the app to recognize the name locations, and the Favorite Trips feature will classify trips based on favorite places. Work hours can automatically classify trips based on a set schedule, and if we'd like to enter our vehicle's information, we can do so in the Vehicle tab. In the Transactions section of the menu, we can automatically track expenses by linking our bank card with Plaid. The Rules feature can help us automatically classify specified transactions. Now that covers the main settings and features, so let's hop right into the app. We'll start on the Home tab. As we continue to track and classify mileage and expenses, we'll be able to see overviews here. We're also able to filter for time periods to see specific information. The mileage values we see in the app on trips and the home screen come from what is set on the Teams dashboard. In our Trips tab, the second one at the bottom, we'll see screens for both unclassified and all mileage. As unclassified mileage is accrued, we could swipe trip cards to the right to classify them as work and to the left for personal. Trips are kept private while they are unclassified and stay that way if they're classified as personal or as another category. If we need to reclassify, we could go to the All screen and swipe the trip card in the other direction. The Edit button allows us to select multiple or filter trips to classify. If we're tracking expenses, the Transaction tab is where we can classify and keep track of them. The Plus button is where we can manually track trips and expenses. The Start Tracker button allows the app to use location tracking to accurately track trips as they occur. 
and this is a good alternative to auto detection, though users must begin and end every trip with this feature. We can also add past trips with the trip button. These won't include timestamps and will show as manually entered, but they're a great way to add an old or a missed trip. Press directions to allow the app to help you get to a location. The expense button allows you to add an expense and include a photo of the receipt. While companies can pull data exports for teams and for members on the team's dashboard at any time, the Reports feature allows employees to submit their mileage and expenses for approval. As trips and expenses are classified as work, they'll automatically be added to a draft report, and a new draft report is automatically created each month. If any trips or expenses need to be added or removed, it can be by swiping to delete or clicking to add more. To submit a report for approval, tap on the report and then submit. Once a report is approved, it locks against further edits. We can see its status and if there's been an update to the reports here as well. That wraps up the overview of the iOS app for Teams. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team. Thank you.